The 16-year-old faces jail time for allegedly mocking Thailand's monarchy, headed by King Mahawashiralongkorn. He is only a teenager, but to his critics, he is an enemy of the state. His crime: wearing a crop top similar to the 68-year-old king's own fashion choice, captured on camera in Germany. Now he faces up to 15 years in jail for alleged royal defamation. Better known as Section 112 of the Thai Criminal Code. I'm okay with being called a nation hater, but I want to tell those who call me such names that I am fighting to make our country better, so that all of you who are calling me names will also have a better life. Thailand is a bitterly divided kingdom. Many young pro-democracy protesters want the army-linked government to fall. And the monarchy's powers curbed under a new constitution. They also want the 112 law scrapped, but royalists believe King Wajiralongkorn and the palace should not be dragged into the public debate. They say the law is necessary to protect the monarchy. The young protester wants all Thais to be treated equally, despite their opinions. But with over 70 pro-democracy activists charged with royal defamation. The state is smothering the movement. I'm scared that others will end up like me. I'm worried this will be a reason people don't want to come out and protest anymore. The royal defamation law carries between three and 15 years of jail time per conviction for criticizing, defaming, or threatening the country's royals. The crowds who mobbed Bank of Streets night after night last year come out less frequently now. And that has left their leaders more vulnerable to legal action. Several have been held pending trial for 112. Criminal punishment is meant for those who commit a violent crime. Speaking or dressing a certain way is neither a violent crime nor moral. This shows that freedom of expression in this country is so low, it's almost non-existent. Last month, the United Nations condemned the rising use of the law. Thai critics of 112, like famous graffiti artist Hedek Stencil, say complaints are being misused, making anyone a potential target. This law is not being used by the people that this law was designed to protect. It's currently being used virtually by anyone. On Monday, the teen rebel is set to find out if his case will go to trial. An increasingly high price is being paid by young protesters calling for change. Witsitra Dundee, for VOA News, Bangkok.